and the president's absolute abuse of this process. Senate Intelligence Co-Chair Mark Warner says President Trump is putting the whistleblower in danger. Where he basically threatened the whistleblower and anyone the whistleblower talked to, uh, calling them out as the most spies or traitors. Warner's concerns come as the president seems to be stepping up his efforts to discredit the person. When you have a whistleblower that reports things that were incorrect. I'm very afraid that in the future, whistleblowers will watch how this case played out. Irving McCullough is with the Government Accountability Project. See that the commander in chief is urging retaliation against people like them and will essentially choose to remain silent. Federal law protects whistleblowers from retaliation, such as losing security clearance or being fired. The law also allows whistleblowers to remain anonymous unless it's an unavoidable part of an investigation. Essentially, Congress does have a right to hear from this whistleblower, as does the American public and does the president. McCullough says in this case, the whistleblower's testimony could be key to the House impeachment inquiry. Warner says Congress wants to get to the bottom of the complaint. We'll get to the other issues in terms of what happened with the president in Ukraine, but this action in terms of undermining the integrity of the folks in the intelligence community uh, should not stand. Warner is urging intelligence officials to make protecting the whistleblower's identity and safety a top priority. In Washington, Bree Jackson.